There's a major shift happening with blockchain technology right now. An entirely new world of financial opportunities are getting created that have never existed before. This whole trend is called decentralized finance or DeFi for short. It has the power to change the current financial system as we know it. And an overwhelming majority of all the DeFi innovation and activity right now is happening on top of the Ethereum platform. And because of that, I want to give you five reasons why Ethereum is the future of finance. I want to talk about this as a blockchain developer who works the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step-by-step step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So the DeFi space has absolutely exploded in the past year. And like I said, it's created all these crazy new opportunities that have never existed before anywhere else, okay? And that makes it a really competitive landscape for the financial system as we know it. Now, whether this completely replaces the current financial system or just creates a really competitive alternative remains to be seen. But this is definitely a Pandora's box situation where, you know, DeFi has been let out of the box and there's no putting it back in. And I personally think the future is very bright for DeFi and you'll see why in this video. And so you can kind of think about this like an introduction to DeFi because I see this floating around social media a lot. People say, hey, I want a video to show my friends who have never heard of DeFi before, like, how it works and why it's important. So I think those will also be clear in this video. So you can show them this to help clear that up. All right, so let's get into it. So the first reason that I think DeFi on top of Ethereum is the future is that it offers benefits to the end user that they cannot get in the traditional financial system. Okay, so there are all kinds of these benefits, but I want to focus on uh, the first use case that I think the average person can understand, which is competitive savings rates. So let me explain. So I've got a DeFi app here on my screen called Compound Finance. And it's a money market app that lets you deposit funds into it with cryptocurrency, earn interest just like a bank, and then lets people borrow cryptocurrency on the other side and pay interest on those loans, also like a bank. Now, I want to focus on the dead simple use case that I think most people can understand, which is competitive savings rates on their deposits. So if you look at a cryptocurrency like DAI here, this is a stable cryptocurrency whose price doesn't change. It's pegged to the US dollar and it earns 5.63% interest annually on that deposit. And so I don't know if you're like me, I get hardly any interest on my deposit, my bank account with my cash. And I think most ordinary people realize this and realize that DeFi can offer them a benefit that they can't get inside their bank account. So why is that? Well, essentially DeFi is doing the same thing that your bank is. You, you know, you're depositing funds into it. They're paying you interest for doing that, but then they're issuing loans out on the other side and making a profit off the difference in those interest rates. But DeFi introduces automation into the equation because it's a protocol powered by smart contracts on the blockchain. It requires requires, you know, less manpower to make that work. It's automated. And so they can offer that competitive deposit interest to you, you know, that better savings rate. And now a quick caveat here, DeFi is still early. It's still risky. I'm not advocating that you personally go take all the savings in your bank account, moving them over into a DeFi app. But I do think this will get better over time as we see, you know, third party protocols implement deposit insurance a lot like your bank does. And this, you know, ecosystem matures and becomes more safe for the end user. And honestly, I think we're probably going to see a lot of centralized user interfaces come out in the future where users don't even think about DeFi. They just log in with their email and password and earn these type of benefits. And then those, you know, companies do DeFi on the back end and charge for that service. So that's very likely to happen, but there'll still be DeFi under the hood. And that's the really important part. So the second reason why I think that DeFi is the future of finance is that it is decentralized. You know, that's where decentralized, you know, the D and DeFi comes from. So what does that mean? Well, let's contrast that from the current financial system, which is highly centralized, where basically there's a huge amount of central control that governs what you can and can't do in the traditional financial system. So let's contrast that to DeFi on top of Ethereum and see how they're different. So one really clear example I think people can understand is the Wall Street bets saga that happened, you know, the, early this year, where basically an online group tried to coordinate to, you know, trigger a short squeeze for some hedge funds. And basically a lot more powerful people were able to step in and essentially pause the game so that the little guys couldn't continue to act and that the big guys could try to fix the mess that they were in the middle of. So let's look at two big benefits that something like decentralized finance would offer in this case. So number one is censorship resistance, because that's exactly what you're seeing in this case, where somebody says, hey, we're going to pause trading and not let the little guy act, that's essentially censorship. So on top of DeFi and Ethereum, at least at the protocol level, no one can really just pause the game. And also because it's a decentralized ecosystem, it allows people to coordinate in large numbers to make up a collective that has power against centralized concentrations of you know power and money. Now I'm not advocating for like pump and dump schemes or like other nefarious activity, but it still empowers the individual in a way that the traditional financial system does not, where regulators could easily come in and censor a large group of individuals who might have too much power. 
And this censorship resistance also really comes into play whenever new projects are launching on top of the blockchain itself. So in a truly decentralized ecosystem like Ethereum, you know, once a project is launched out there in the wild, nobody can really shut it down. Of course, regulators could come in and say, hey, we're not going to let our citizens use this. And of course, they could prosecute the people who were responsible for creating it. But once it's out there, it's out there. And this is where Ethereum has a huge edge over its competitors that are live out there in the wild today. Ethereum is the most decentralized working implementation of, you know, blockchain smart contract platform where you can do DeFi today and has a ton of momentum to maintain that position for the short to mid and also probably the long term. Now, reason number three that I think, you know, DeFi on top of Ethereum is the future is because it's permissionless. So basically, that means that you don't need anybody's permission to do DeFi. As long as you have cryptocurrency, you can go to any of these websites or any of these protocols and use them. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, there's still these central points of failure. Get onto a cryptocurrency exchange and KYC in order to buy cryptocurrency or to get into the system. There's definitely some truth to that. But once you're in the system itself, no one can really tell you what you can and can't do. So here's why that's important. So once you're in the system... You don't have to get approved for a margin account, for example, to trade on margin. You can short, you can use leverage, you can do all this stuff that you would normally have to jump through all these hoops to do in the traditional financial system. Now, I know some of those things are, of course, risky, but it still opens the door for really basic things. Like some people can't even be approved to have a credit card, for example, or to open a bank account for really like benign things that most normal people do. And those barriers are removed completely in the DeFi ecosystem on top of Ethereum today. Now, of course, gas fees are high on top of the Ethereum network right now. And some people will say, well, hey, that's a barrier for normal people because they're going to get priced out of most transactions in DeFi. That is true today, but that won't necessarily be the case forever. Okay, we're really close to having layer two scaling solutions on top of Ethereum right now that are going to be widely adopted that will greatly improve this problem. And once we do, you know, this, this problem can get a lot better and the permissionless nature of DeFi can really be greatly enhanced. And again, this is super early. There are lots of times to work through the current problems we have in DeFi today. But the permissionless nature is one of the biggest reasons I'm so bullish on it in the long term. Now, reason number four why I think that DeFi is the future on top of Ethereum is because it creates brand new possibilities that you can't do in the traditional financial system. Now, this is different from my first point where I said like, hey, it offers benefits that you can't get. I'm talking about like, that's competitive savings rates. We have saving rates in traditional finance, but we have things in DeFi that don't even exist in traditional finance. And I think we'll see a lot more down the road, but here are two really prominent ones that come to mind that I think a lot of people are familiar with. So number one is automated market maker technology. So think about like an app like Uniswap, for example. This is one of the most popular apps on top of Ethereum right now. It's a cryptocurrency exchange where you buy and sell tokens just with a click of a button. There's no order book, there's no candlestick charts. It works completely differently than other cryptocurrency exchanges or traditional financial exchanges that you might be familiar with. So how Uniswap works on the back end are these things called liquidity pools where people can park cryptocurrency to provide liquidity to the application. They're incentivized to do that because they earn part of the trading fees and the end user gets a really clean user experience where they just swap tokens, you know, like this. So that's an example of something you can do with DeFi and blockchain technology that you can't really do in the traditional financial system. There's no way to like trustlessly create an incentive structure like that where you can power a decentralized application that can't be turned off. So another use case is something you can do in DeFi you can't do in traditional finance are flash loans, for example. And these are completely permissionless, completely decentralized. This is where you can borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency for free with nobody's permission, as long as you pay it back in the exact same same transaction that you borrowed it in. So you can use this for stuff like uh, arbitrage trading. You can use it for leverage when you're doing yield farming and DeFi and lots of other crazy things. So flash loans are absolutely crazy. It's like this mind blowing futuristic concept. And there's no way to accomplish something like that inside the traditional financial system. Sure, you could say like some crazy margin account or something like that. But one of the big benefits of a flash loan is there's no risk that you can lose the money that you borrow. And so it's not really the same thing. So the last big reason I want to talk about in this video as to why I think DeFi on top of Ethereum is the future of finance is the sheer momentum that this has. You know, I talked about how this space has absolutely exploded over the past year. And it's gotten a lot of mainstream attention. And we're already starting to see mainstream adoption of DeFi. Now, granted, it's on a small scale, but it, it's captured the attention of some really influential people out there. We've seen people like Mark Cuban become huge Ethereum bulls. I've been talking about that on this channel. Lots of other people seeing the same thing. And they're going to where you can do DeFi right now, which is on top of Ethereum. You know, so many people are having this aha moment and talking about it online, spreading this awareness like this. You know, open a MetaMask wallet, trade on a DEX, yield farm via LP and buy NFT. 
do all of this or all versions of this and tell me why this is not version 1.0 of a new financial system. I think that's spot on. And I think he said it really well, was version 1.0. There's still lots of problems that have to be solved, but it has so much momentum. It's captured the attention of so many big brains who have a lot of capital to invest to see this ecosystem grow and also a ton of reach to you know market this to millions and millions, if not billions of people. All right, so this is my top five reasons why I think DeFi on top of Ethereum is the future of finance. So as always, you know, I hope you like this video. Smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. That really helps these videos out so more people can learn about blockchain. If you like this, you know, you're as fascinated with this technology as I am and you want to get your hands dirty, you know, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. All right, you like those videos, you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely. I guess you to become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Don't worry, you don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding background become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. All right, so that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.